All right, today we're going to learn how to do um, three more Avengers. These Avengers are a little bit more tricky and you have learned now the technique for doing them by doing some of the other videos. So um, we're gonna start with Captain America. We're gonna do Captain America with his mask off. So I like to be able to see his face. All right, we are gonna start the same way, which is good. Big smile. And happy eyes. Captain America has his hair swooped to one side like this. If you want to draw him kind of more new style, you would draw it more spiky, like when we did Hawkeyes. Now we're going to do kind of a First Avengers, Avengers movie style where he has his hair parted to one side. All right. He's going to be giving the thumbs up. So we're going to draw that arm out to the side. And then we're going to draw this angled out this way. But we're not going to draw this arm yet. We can draw the start of his body, though. Now it's time for us to figure out what's going on here. And of course it is that he is holding his shield. Now when we learn from Wonder Woman, we go ahead and draw the shield first and then fill in the body parts that we could maybe see. So we're going to try to draw a pretty good circle here. All right, nice big shield. Now he has a couple rings. We have a ring of red, a ring of white, another ring of red, and then on the inside we have a star. Now a star, you could just practice by doing the typical you know, go crisscross across. I am decent enough at it now that I can just wing it without those middle lines. I left the center nice and big so you could see. But you could always pencil it in first and then do those outer lines if you wanted to. Right now we know that we can see a little bit of his elbow there. Just a little bit though. All right, we're gonna just come all the way down without drawing any details yet, get his legs in there, and then I'll show you where all those details go. And of course this arm. Thumb is up, the rest are in. Giving it a good thumbs up. All right. Let's draw his belt. And let's draw his boots. Now he has these knee pad things that come across right here. There's a kind of a some reinforcements on his suit like that. It, this really helps to draw these details because otherwise that's a bunch of boring blue. You could even draw the boots having the details there. He does have that in one of his suits. Now these lines here are important and then you just come across. Then he has these, he's got a lot of details. See, that's why he's a little harder. And then we got to put a tinier star right there. Right, again, you could practice it with a pencil first. I'm just going to wing it. There we go. Now, there are a lot of ways to color Captain America. In the first Avenger, these were brown and his gloves were brown. In the newest movie, Endgame, he had a fairly similar suit, but his boots were red and his gloves were red. I kind of switch back and forth. It kind of depends on which blue you want to use. So if you want to use kind of a denim color blue, then the, the denim color blue goes with the brown boots. Um, and then I'm going to do a brighter blue. The brighter blue will go with the red boots. All right, so we're going to color them with the red let me make sure that's the right color. Yeah, we'll go with it. It's cool. It looked a little light when I started. All right, the inside, around the edges of the star, the inside of his shield is blue. I see a lot of kids color Captain America wrong. It's a little tricky to remember where his colors go. You see a lot of his suit is blue. 
Now let's hit the spots on this suit that are brown, which is just one right there on the uh, belt. He does have one dash of gray here, which is his belt buckle. Now let's hit all the spots that are red. So this glove is red. This stripe is red. That stripe is red. That stripe is red. His boots are red. All right, now the outside stripe is red and the inmost stripe is red. That one stays white. All right, peach face. And then I do dark blonde hair. Cause it's it kind of cruises closer to brown sometimes, but it's classically blonde. So you see, he has a lot of different colors because of the belt detail. A lot of things that are tricky, like the star, um, and that we have the fact that we have to draw his body and we have a lot of details on his body. So Captain America is a little bit harder. All right. Next up, we have Black Panther. Black Panther is going to use the same techniques we just used for Batman in the previous video. So we're going to extend that face up a little bit higher and he has short little spikes. His are even shorter than Batman's. But his mask, his face is entirely covered. So we're not going to draw any details on the face yet. I'll show you how we're going to do those. We are going to give him some kind of sharp eyes. And you see these are like little triangles. It's because he's supposed to look like a cat. He's supposed to look pretty fierce. So we need to draw that, that part of it. We're going to do a hand technique here, which we're going to repeat when we do the next character too. So we will have his arms start to come out. And this one is going to come all the way down. Now what we're going to do is we're going to do foreshortening. He's thrusting his hand at us like he's going to claw us. So we're going to draw these claws. Like this. All right, he is reaching out to claws. So you can kind of connect that in. All right, draw his body. I like to draw his legs a little bit apart and bent. So I'm going to show you that too. Remember, it is a cartoon, so it doesn't have to be perfect. If you get it a little wonky, that's okay. So now we've got a cool pose for Black Panther about to claw us. This hand here, we're going to have those claws. We can see the first finger and we can maybe see a couple of the other fingers hiding back in there. Now this all seems very basic and you're saying, oh, well, Miss Buff, it's, he's black. I got this from here. He does have one detail though that we want to draw in and that is his, those teeth or talons that are on his neck, uh, like a neck part right there. Okay, now from here, because the rest of his suit is black, but he does get that vibranium um, glint. And you can use either purple or blue, light blue. It's been shown in the movies as either one. Um, also kind of pink sometimes it looks like. I'm going to use light blue today. But I like to show the detail on his face by kind of going out and then in right here. I'm kind of making like a peanut shape in the middle of his face. I do a little glint on the side. I do a little glint on his fingers. I do these shapes down his chest. A little bit on his legs down the arm. And you're going to see that's going to really make him look very cool. And you kind of get that vibranium glint out of him there. So then we just have to avoid coloring over what we just did with blue. You really cannot do the black first. You've got to do the blue first. It's very hard to leave the space when you're coloring with black. So definitely draw those in, whatever color it is that you chose. 
they can't seem to decide themselves. They made action figures where it's all different, different colors. You could do some other details like um, drawing with a Sharpie that the fact that he has the boots and stuff on, but uh, I just like to do all those blue highlights and then I just don't color the necklace at all so that it stands out. It's supposed to be very bright silver and even coloring it gray kind of tends to dim it down. So there we have Black Panther. So we learned about the foreshortening the hand. So it looks like he's coming at us, the claws, a slightly different pose. And uh, this coloring technique where I am doing the highlights first and then coloring in black. All right, our second hardest Avenger to draw. We'll draw the, the hardest one later. Um, but the second hardest Avenger to draw is going to be Iron Man. There's a lot of details going on. His face is different. Pose is different. All that stuff. So for his head, we are going to make a circle. This can be the hardest part for a lot of people. I get it. Next, you draw a line. It doesn't split the circle quite in half. It's a little heavier on the bottom than it is at the top, but it's curved, so it makes an oval shape. The eyes sit on this line, or hang from that line, and they are little rectangles. Next, we have to do the shape of the face plate around it. We really have to do the eyes first before we do the face plate. Because if we did the face plate and then tried to draw the eyes and got them out of whack, we, we wouldn't look good. You see, like, there were a lot of straight lines. Just remember two nubs up, one nub down. Now, even though his mask's lines tend to look like a frown, we're actually just going to draw a little happy smile in there. Yay, happy Iron Man. Now, we can't draw his arms coming straight out of his head because he does have these big shoulder pauldrons. So we have to draw those first. And then we have to draw the this part of his armor, the chest part of his armor, before we can really start drawing anything else. There's a circle here too. Yay with his arc reactor in it. Now we're gonna do one of those foreshortened hands just like we did for uh, Black Panther. So we have the thumb, four fingers coming out there. His thumbs are, uh, his fingers are all articulated and he has a repulsor in the middle. Now we can kind of connect to here. And this arm, similar to Black Panther, will be down. Thumb out and the fingers out. His hand is flat. His hand is like flat, so we won't see anything else, just the one. Now we have a repulsor light shining that we're gonna draw. A lot of, lot of details going on. But this box up here is important. It's like glove. You could kind of draw some extra lines on that. Maybe a button. All right. Now we have to kind of section off his waist. It's tiny. And it has these ribbed parts through here. Ugh. Maybe this is the hardest Avenger. Now that I think about it. All right. We're going to draw this sort of shape here. This is for all the... Hips area, well, his legs would just be out to the sides, but they're kind of split into a V here. Very strong stance. Now, down here at his ankles, he has like a rotor. This comes up like curved. This comes up curved. There's a knee piece. And there's a thigh piece. Lots of details. 
All right, now when we color them, you can color them pretty much however you want to. There's been hundreds and hundreds of Iron Man suits. I'm gonna show you how I color them where I think I get a really good contrast between the yellows and the reds. Um, and that is by coloring these uh, portions here yellow. The faceplate is almost always yellow unless you're doing like War Machine. You could use this exact same thing for War Machine. Um, just he doesn't have a triangular arc reactor. And these parts are gold here. You could add more gold if you want, like the Mark 42 suit has a lot of gold. Um, this is the places where I choose to do the gold. This is a lot like the um, Mark 6 and Mark 7 that would have been used in the Avengers movie. First one. The rest of the suit is red, so you don't have to stay in the lines. You had, did all those details, but you don't have to stay in the lines anymore. Avoid the arc reactor. And when we get there, you're going to avoid the repulsors. Now, could you also draw Iron Man with that same Superman flying pose? Absolutely. He doesn't fly that way, though. He has both of his legs straight out, usually. But you could. All right, and now for our final detail, we're going to do some light blue. This is Arc Reactor tends to glow blue. The Repulsor would do a ring of blue and we'll do a couple of blue lines down there. I don't color blue on his eyes because his eyes tend to be pretty white. So I do that and that gives us Iron Man.